Hi guys and thanks for joining me, I'm Animalistic and in this Celestial Tournament video we're going to be taking on the trainers Taranzu, Rathian and Chen Stormstout using a regular 3 pet strategy. Alright first up Taranzu, he's got 3 humanoid pets so you want to be taking pets that has strong undead damage. If you don't have the pets in the video see the description below for alternative pets. Begin with by using Howl and then you're going to follow this up with Shadow Shark. It should take the pet below half HP which will force them to use Faint Death and switch out with another pet. When this happens you want to bring in your Felp up next and you're going to start by casting Crouch followed by Howl and then you're going to continue with Diseased Bite until you defeat the current pet. When he brings his other pet back in, just use Disease Bite and it should go down in one hit. Now for the third and final pet, you're going to do the combo again, which is Crouch, Howl and as many Disease Bites as you can get until one of you dies. If your fell pup happens to die, you've always got your lost another pup and your third pet to fall back on. Right, and Chen Stormstout is next. He takes a beast pet, a critter and an elemental with him. If you don't have the pets on screen then you can just check the description below for alternative pets. When Tonsa gets defeated he'll bring out Chirps, he'll, he's a really quick pet, he'll usually always go first. He always starts with Lullaby which will put you to sleep, so just bring out your second pet. In this case we're going with Hugs. Uh, you're going to use Maul followed by as many bites as you can get in until you kill Chirps. Usually takes around 3 hits. Now for his third and final pet you just want to get as much damage down with Hogs as you can so go ahead and bite on Maul until Hogs gets killed. When Hogs dies switch out to your Visitors Globo or otherwise known as the Little Green Slime. Start with Creeper News, Acid Touch and then Weakness. If he's still alive by the time you've cast Weakness, then just continue to use Acid Touch to finish him off. And lastly we have Rathian. Um, this is the guy you're going to use to heal upon if you need to do any healing. He uses two dragons and one undead pet. Now you want to start off by using Howl and then you're going to follow this up in your next two turns by doing two scratches. This will be enough to kill Cinder but with a beating undead pet she is going to come back uh, alive for one more round. Now, during this undead turn, you're going to be stunned, so I just go ahead and pass this turn here. Let Cindy kill itself. <laughs> now, with Cindy fully dead and he sends out his next pet, begin with Howl and then try and get in a scratch. Sometimes you will die and you won't manage to get it in, but most of the time you do manage to get a scratch off. Thank <laughs> you. 
After scratch you should die to the burning or to the passive that Cindy put on you. Switch out to your Scourge Welpling. Start with Call Darkness. And then you should use Breath Attack here. Uh, dreadful Breath. But with him being so low, I just finished him off with a Tail Whip. The reason we go for Dreadful Breath is because it's an AoE attack and it affects the pet on the back line as well. If you didn't cast Dreadful Breath, uh, make sure it's the first attack you cast when the final pet comes out. Continue with Dreadful Breath until you beat the pet or until your Scourge Welp and dies. If he happens to die, then just bring out your Flare Youngling and finish him off with Blitz. Well that's all three trainers done, I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it, if you did please like and subscribe below and thanks again for watching.